and he recorded the narration. He says, I narrated from Nafa, who is the student of Ibn Umar, who lived with the companion, stayed yeah. with the companion. Straight away, it's not like we're narrating from someone, right? And also the Prophet, he kept, some people wrote at the time of the Prophet, like Ali, the fourth caliphate of Islam, who lived with the Prophet, who, who is the cousin of Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. He had, there is a book from him called, uh, is about Zakat, written text, right? We have it today, written yeah. from the first century, from the companion of the Prophet, right? We have Umar, uh, uh, we have uh, Abu Huraira, which was the most narrating companion. His student, Hammam, we have the manuscript of the hadith that he did. So the reality is, it's not like, uh, because some people, I'm sorry, I will let you just speak, I'm sorry, I'm taking a lot of time. So we have a lot of people spreading things about Islam that are incorrect, right? And that's why we say to someone, you can come and ask a question, we easily will tell you the answers to these questions, right? We can support evidences with manuscripts and with oral tradition, evidences, biographies of men, that what we have is not just uh, fa fairy tales and hearsay, right? What you refer to, for example, which is someone saying, I heard that from someone he didn't meet, we call that, we call that, we call that hearsay in Islam. Just yeah. a hearsay. Yeah. We don't accept that that's a weak hadith for us. It's not accepted, right? Just anyone can fabricate anything, can say anything, right? That's why I agree with you. That's the whole reason of the science of hadith is being critical, which is what you said. Yeah. Looking at the information we take, we believe that's salvation, end of, of life, right? Believe, is it what God wants from us for sure? Is it not what God wants from us? When we say, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, I'll let you speak because I'm taking a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, in Islam, the concept of God is not like Christianity. We don't believe you people are born sinners and we tell you you're sinners, you, you have to do it. No, we don't, don't believe that. No, but that's, that's manipulation by people. Yeah, of course, I agree, yeah. I agree. Because of the... Of, of the yeah, but I, unfortunately, I, it's the majority look, of Christians. I, I, I have, I, I've got experience, I mean, I, I come from South London. Okay. And I remember uh, not so long ago, I was going to... Uh, do, you know, do you know Morden around that area? Morden? Yeah. Yeah, I know it, yeah. Well, I, I was, I was take, used to take the train. Is it is it a northern line? Northern line. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Collier's Wood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Near a yes, stop. Yes, yes. I was going into the Sabre Centre there. They've got yes. a um, Sainsbury's and then a Marks and Spencer. It's yes. quite a big establishment. Yeah. And there's a little bridge that there's a very nice shrine on the other side. Yes. To note. Yes. For the fancy shrine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> As I was going in, there was this guy on a soapbox, wildly going at me, repent, repent. <laughs> I know, I know, it happens to me as well. On the I, bus, I, I just went up to on the bus it happened to me, two days ago. Yeah. The guy sat next, next to the door yeah. and he said, repent, Jesus loves you, repent. Come yeah. on, I'm on the bus, man. No, no, the way to deal with that is say, yes. what are you feeling guilty about? I don't know. I, I ain't done anything wrong. Why, why are you calling for me to repent? I don't know. I think it's your conscience getting out. Yes, yes, I agree. I By agree. the time I come out, you're gone. <laughs> so we say in Islam, we don't need a man to come down for our no. sins. In Islam, we believe God is not a man, not a woman, not like his creation. Look, God this, is supreme. Th th this is why I, I, I prefer to stick with the Quran because th there are premises of the Quran. It's, it talks about not exceeding and yes. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, not Which, transgressing, not exceeding. Yeah, yes. You know, so it, being it, in the middle. Moderation. Allah says we are a middle nation, in the yeah. middle. Yeah. We're not extreme I, to this I, side I, or that I, side. I, I can live with that. But, you know, yeah. it, what, one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm very firm about. Yes. You never ever kill in the name of God. I I never, I, ever, I completely ever. I, I completely agree with you in a yeah. sense. I'll tell you why. Go on. In Islam, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says yeah. first in chapter five, verse thirty-two. Yeah. That if you kill an innocent human being, it's as if you killed all of humanity. Correct. Right? Yeah. And if you save an innocent human being, it's as if you saved all of humanity. So Allah tells us we should do this, right? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in, in chapter 8 of the Quran, if they incline to peace, incline to peace. Yeah. If someone says, I want peace, you have peace with him, right? Yeah. Allah also says in chapter 8 of the Quran, verse 60, those who don't fight you for, yeah. because of your religion, they don't kick you out of your home. Allah does not forbid you from being good. Righteous to them. Allah loves those who are good and righteous. Well, exactly. Right. You, you, it's, it, legitimate self defense. If someone is yeah. trying to kill exactly. you, exactly. I thank you. That's the point I was going to get to. Yeah. Allah says in chapter I'm, 2, verse I'm 100. Cool with that. Yeah. But, you know, I, I mean. We're not pacifist, but we don't transgress. If no. someone attacks us, we defend ourselves. Right? What, 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 where, where I have a problem. Yes. Is, you know, with this business of cartoon, cartoon business. Yeah, I can, I can talk about that. I, if you like, I, yeah. I, I do not believe Charlie Hebdo and these things, right? Char exactly. Yeah, yeah. I do not believe that people walking into a place and killing effectively in God's yes. name yes. is actually going to test them for anywhere other than the hellfire. Do you know what the Prophet said? Go on. The Prophet said, "We have to uh, uh, to us non-Muslims are different types. Yeah. We have a type called Harbi, combatant." Yeah non-believer yeah. right yeah. then we have dhimmi which is the yeah. person who has protection of the muslims yeah and live in a muslim land then we have muahid someone we have a treaty with yeah prophet muhammad he said if you kill a person 
who is non-combatant, yeah. you will not, you, you, innocent person, yeah. you will not smell the fragrance of paradise. Leave, leave entering paradise, it's not yeah. smell the fragrance of paradise. Yeah. So well, that's what the Prophet said. The, the, these are the guys that I'm worried about. I, we don't have vigilantism in Islam. No. These people do not represent us. Well, but but do you know, can I say something very important? Yeah. In, in France, there is fi around five to seven million uh, Muslims, I think. Yeah. How many people did this crime? Two people. Can we make all of Muslims no, responsible? Course, That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. If you go to Muslims, say, should we go do something else? They will tell you no. They will tell you these people don't represent us. In Islam, we don't have vigilantism. We don't apply judgments ourselves. No. If, Look, I, yeah. I, I, I have Muslim friends who, 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 when they do things like this, their response is, oh my God. Because what, what they, they misrepresent us. The, we hate them more. We have a big problem with you, them. You will have to pay the price yeah, yeah, of yeah. their misdeed. Hundred percent. You know, and, uh, you know. Uh, when I, I explain this to two Muslims who are that way inclined, who, yeah. who say I'm going to cut your head off, and some of them do. So, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm okay with it because you know I'm a fairly big bloke. And I know how to handle myself. You, sh you shouldn't be, and we shouldn't the, be. We shouldn't the, allow the, these people the, to do the, this. The, the way I explain it is, if you take Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah. which is mentioned in the Bible, it's mentioned in the Quran, yes, yes. Lot's wife, yes. you know, Lot, well, uh, Lot's, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. look. It's very simple. Yes. According to the story, yes. right? Lot was approached. Story in the Bible or the Quran? Um, because the, the they're a bit different. Right? It's, 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 <laughs> yes. It's mentioned in the Quran. It is both, yeah, but, but it's a bit it, different in both. But yeah, 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 sure, sure. The bottom line is there was a load of bad shit going on in yes. the town. Yes. God said, right, I've had enough. Yes. Now I'm giving you an instruction. Yes. To this far angels about. Yes. Leave town. Yes. Don't look back. Yes. You know, which bit of that do you not understand? <laughs> Leave town, do yeah. not look back. Yes, yes. Yeah. And they left town. Yeah. And Lot's wife. Yes. Yeah. And apparently... And God a, knew she was... She was, she yeah. was yeah. Apparently there is a pillar Yes. Uh, uh, that looks suspiciously like a woman. Yes. And she's looking back. Now that is divine intervention. Yeah. You know, you look back, you disobey, zap. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. God himself does it basically. Yeah. Does, you understand what you're saying 100%? Yeah. I but understand. It, for you to do it, what yes. you're saying is that God isn't up to it. That you know, you, you just know, committed the worst form of blasphemy there is. Do you know, do you know what you're just saying to me is what? You're preaching Islam to me. I'll tell you why. You're right now, you are you doing is you're preaching. I'll tell you why. The most important thing in Islam to us is called Tawheed. Yeah. Monotheism. One of the part, uh, the sections of monotheism is called Tawheed al yeah. What Why is Tawheed al Given attributing the actions of God only to God. One of them is judging. Yeah. So God is the judge. I'm not the judge. If you do something, then you made yourself equal to Allah. Shirk, which is yes. the biggest sin in yeah. Islam. So what you're saying, I'm saying you're just preaching Islam to me, right? We agree with that completely. Well, we yeah, say I you cannot do it. For myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you're I, born I, with that. I, I, would, I would go with. I'll take it third. Yes. Do you accept that God is omnipotent? Yes. Right. That means he can do what the fuck he or she wants. Yes. yes. You know, I understand. Yeah. You know. So, it is possible that God could appear in different forms to different societies. Okay. So, where you get these poly so-called polytheistic cults, sure. they're not in fact polytheistic, oh, sure. they just appear that way. Okay. Can I can I comment on that? Is yeah, right? we're, we're talk, oh. talking about sure. Odin, Thor. Sure, sure. I understand. Yeah. Zeus, Odin, Thor, Odin, Thor yeah. and all. Yeah. You know, Even in Hinduism, Krishna, Brahma, all of these exactly. kinds. Exactly. Yes. But yeah. that's just the way he, he said. So these bunch of people, I'm going to present myself that way. Yeah. To these bunch of people, yes. I'm going to do it this way. Yes. But I, I, I uh, my personal feeling, mm -hmm. and this is just you know me trying to work things out of logically. Course, of course, yeah. There's, there's if no there's problem. more, if there's more than two people, yes. uh, or entities, yeah. there's going to be trouble. Yeah. So, I understand what you're saying. You so, know, can, can I? Probably only one. I agree. Completely agree with you. That's a ro rational position. If you say there is two create, one wants you to die, one wants you to live. It's impossible, right? It's either you die, you live, or nothing happens to you. And all situations, none of them is God, right? Yeah. Because you don't have control. So, I agree with you completely. It must be one entity. But what I'm trying to say is this, yeah? I agree with what, most of what you say. Uh, I'm sorry. Just can you repeat me the first point you made? First point you made. What about about the uh, God, God, and you know the difference between divine action and man-made action? No, no. Or, the, or, or the second the point afterwards. Uh, about um, um, where were we? Um, you said something about about like basically. Uh, oh, 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 about God appearing in different ways. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is yeah. the one. I want. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. I just lost it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. It's all right. Yeah. So we say as Muslims the following. Yeah. We say, you said your name is, sorry? Nick. Nick. Yeah. Nick, 
how do I know about Nick? Nick tells me about himself. Yeah. I can make an assumption about Nick. Yeah, I can be right, I can be wrong. Correct? And Allah, Allah tells us, Allah tells us in the Quran, avoid majority of assumption. Yeah. Because majority of assumption is bad. You assume bad things about other people, right? So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you get that round here. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do, you do hundred <laughs> percent. So what how do I know? I just ask Nick. Yeah. Like Nick, where are you from? What's your name? I can know about you. I, so we I, say I, yeah. I, I was filming. Yeah. I, I, I bought, I've got a, a sort of selfie stick thing with a yeah, yeah. stabilizer on it, yes. a gyro stabilizer. Yeah. Arch. Yeah. And it was just, just before the lockdown, you know, a couple of months ago. Yeah. And the, I think um, White Lives, no, Black Lives Matter was doing their thing. Yeah. And I was filming the police fans for a lot of this stuff. Yeah. And this guy, this big kid, he was, you know, bigger than Six me. Foot? But he Maybe. Looked, <laughs> he, he, he looks, he looks at early 20s, 18. Yeah. He goes on UEDL. Uh, assumptions, <laughs> assumptions, straight away. I, I looked at him and I thought, how am I going to deal with this? And I thought, hmm, you've got brown eyes. <laughs> and he went, yeah, what of it? So yeah. I've got blue eyes. Yeah. We need to go and find a green eyed person and yeah. beat them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he yeah, thought about not, that yeah, for yeah, a moment and yeah. they burst out laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you've got to break the paradigm. Yeah, somehow. 100%, 100%. 100%. So I, 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 and it's a nice way to do it in humour yeah. as well. It's a nice way. Well, in, a humor, know, in a humorous way, it's he, nice. He, you know, if, if you don't both have brown eyes, it's even better. Yes. Because, you know, yeah, yeah. So what, exactly, this is this is kind of what Islam says. So Islam says, so if we apply that same thing, right? Yeah. Would you say, if it's wrong to assume about you, right? Is it right to assume about the creator of the heavens and the earth? That's well, what I'm trying. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes, I agree. This is where I scratch. I agree with you 100. percent Where did life come from? I agree. Good. I will answer that question 100. percent We must. We believe in a creator like you, right? We say there cannot be existence without a person who brought this existence into existence, right? You know. That, I mean. I mean. Forget all the fables. Yes. The, you know the, the, the seven days and all yeah, the yeah, rest yeah. of it. Uh, to you us, know, it's, it's periods of time. It's not. It's, the, uh, no, literally. I recognise yeah, that. That, yeah. is, that. Which is actually far more yes. in tune with yeah, probably yeah. what happened. Yeah. I personally think that there was a bang. Yeah. Now this is where it gets difficult, and I don't have an answer, and nor does anybody. But I, 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 I you can open I, mind. I, I, I might have I, it. I, I, <laughs> I, I might. Think, I think yes. a large lump of ice. Yes, okay. Was flying through space. Yes. Hit this planet that happened to be in the right place at the right time. And that large lump of ice brought with it life. Can I, can I, can but I? Where did that life come from? That can, is where I okay, have a sure. problem. I can I answer that point? I don't know. Yeah, okay. We say, as, uh, we say like, when you look at things in, in reality, do we ever have lo uh, lumps of, uh, of ice moving in space? I'll tell you why not. We don't. Do you know why? No. Because if the ice is not big enough right yeah. it's not big it's not a big entity like a planet yeah then it will not uh, maintain itself within the heat like there is stars and there is yeah, yeah it will it will not maintain itself within the heat it, so, it must have been i mean think about the amount of yeah. water on this planet yeah. it must have been so we say what why will why how did it get there why we don't say why we don't say the creator created it there i i don't understand what's so hard to, to if you said to me for example that like god is all powerful yeah. is god able to create a planet with water in power, power-wise, logical-wise, is he able to do that? Probably, it's the, it's the mechanism by which it happens. He made everything else. He made everything else. You, you've, got to, you've got to remember that. Yes. Five hundred years ago, six hundred years ago, everyone believed the Earth was flat. Except and we, Muslims. And then we discovered. Do you know why? Except Muslims. Because the Quran tells him not. In chapter thirty-nine of the Quran, verse five, Allah says, "We have." Do you know the the, the students of companions? Yeah. They narrated consensus between Muslims yeah. that we believe the Earth is right. Israel. Right. Yeah. Before anyone else, why? Yeah. Because because Allah made the Earth, right? So Allah knows how the Earth looks like. So Allah yeah. told us it's yeah. like this. We didn't have to have these problems. Why? Because the Quran tells us about the physical world, the natural world, the reality. When you read the Quran, when you ponder on it, you will see it will answer these questions you're asking. It will tell you how the universe is created, tell you that Allah placed these things, He gave you that water that you drink, He gave you these things that are there, just like He created everything else within, around you. But then the point is this, I was trying to say, it's okay to believe in God, that's okay, right? And there is attributes we all agree on, like God is all powerful, intelligent, right? God created the universe, these I, I things think, we agree. I think we're, we're still learning stuff. Can I answer that as well? Okay. We say, 
we uh, we are learning things, but not when it deals to our guidance. I'll tell you why. Who told us about our guidance? We believe the Creator told us about guidance. Why do we say as Muslims, God is only one, right? Why do we say He does have, have sons and daughters, like literal sons and daughters, uh, and grandmothers and grandsons like us? Why do we say Allah is not like His creation? You know why? Because Allah told us so. Now, someone else might say, oh, but this other religion might say, Allah, God told me as well. We say to them, Allah says the answer is in the following. Where is the evidences that what you have is from? Well, that sums over a period of time. With Would you agree with that? Would stuff. you agree with that? Would you agree with that? If I, if I, if you make a claim, you should produce evidences for it. Would you agree? Especially about God. Yeah. yeah. Because if I can say God is is like uh, anything, anything you can say, and then you ask you for evidence, you say I just think so, right? Then people just say opinions. So in Islam, we provide evidences to prove that the religion is coming from the Creator. Right? We give. I'll give an example. You would agree with me that humans are restricted by the laws in the universe. We cannot know the absolute future. Right? Like everything is going to happen in the future, we cannot know. So Prophet Muhammad, he existed 1,400 years ago. Right? In these manuscripts of Hadith that are 1st century, 2nd century, 3rd century that we're talking about, yeah. they have information about the future we're living in today happening. Things that he spoke about and he didn't make a single false prediction. It was not easily predictable things that anyone was just predictable. It's not predictability, it's not easy. He was honest, known and honest. He made numerous predictions, tens. I can give you like 27 right now if you want. Yeah. <laughs> so, the question is this, that is called, is evidence to prove that a person, he said this knowledge is from God, it's not from me. Prophet Muhammad didn't say, I know the future. He said it's from Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth. I'll give you an example. Prophet Muhammad says, you know Bedouins? Bedouins are people who live in tents in the desert. Yeah. Yeah. So Bedouin Arabs are not, all not all Arabs are Bedouins. There is few Bedouins and there is non Bedouin Arabs, right? Yeah. So Prophet Muhammad says, you will see the Bedouin Arabs competing and building the tallest buildings. Who is the tallest building in the world today? Do you know? No. In Dubai, Burj Khalifa. Right. Now we have, do you know 50 years ago, Dubai was a desert with barefoot people walking by? Yes. But they found what? They found oil. Yeah, well, Dubai, I mean, sounds like it's thoroughly corrupted. It is, it is, I agree, it is. It is, it is. That's why the, the, the Las Vegas of the Middle East. I completely agree with you. Do you know why? Prophet Muhammad said you shouldn't waste money and build buildings without purpose. So they're not even following the Prophet, they're doing against, so they are doing corruption. But I'm saying he said they will do that. And then they are competing in it. And then he said the earth will puke its treasures and gold and silver. Yeah. We know that black gold is oil. Yeah. And the earth puked its treasures. Like the Prophet said, how would you know this? we the only using uh, oil today because of technology. Yeah. It was not that important in the past, right? It was just no, some... No, so, yeah, well, well, was apparently, it? apparently when the Saudis discovered they had oil first, they, they thought it was poison. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like something like you don't yeah. know. So then, then the Prophet also said money will become abundant to the new. So he said, not only what they're going to be competing and doing, and which people will be doing it, he said even the means that they will be able to do these things. How do you know that? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he said, there will come a time when the women will be taken, yeah. her belly will be cut open, yeah. the baby will be taken as pieces, discarded out, yeah. out of fear of having pregnancy. Now I want you to imagine 1,400 years ago, no equipment, no telescopes, no microscopes, and he's talking to you about abortion that we are able today medically to yeah. perform. How would you know this if it was not from the period? Right? How would he know this? Some foresight, yeah. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad said, you can, I would say this, right? You can say foresight about one or two or three. But when you have tens of predictions, yeah. none of them are false. Then it's impossible for him to just be making predictions, right? Mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad he said that, that the deserts of Arabia, not just the future, the past as well. He said the deserts of Arabia will become green again. What does that game mean? If I say some... Because it was green in the past. Very good. Do you know, I will show you right now two, two links, yeah? One link from from uh, Nature magazine, magazine, and the other from. NASA. So he said the deserts of Arabia will come back meadows and rivers and green. Of course, of course if, if there's oil, Again. then there must have been vegetation before. We know this today. Yeah. We today we know what oil is. Yeah. In the past we didn't, we didn't know what oil is. There is actually fossils and all. Of, yeah. We didn't know this, right? So that's why we should put ourselves 1,400 years. How would he know something like this? Okay. I'm, I'm chuckling over a friend of mine who lives in Canada. Yeah. Who uh, was talking about? She was talking about global warming. Yeah. And she said, "I wish you could bloody hurry up, you know." <laughs> so uh, it's, it's you cold, know, it's cold it is. It is. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. It is very cold. Now this is this is Nature magazine, Nature Asia. Yeah. Yeah. Then it has here. Look, it shows you that the the green past for yes. Arabia. They show you fossils, yeah. and they show you ten thousand Asian lakes in the deserts yeah. of Arabia. They show you animals like elephants that live only near water, right? Yeah. How will Prophet Muhammad know the past that was thousands of years before him? Not only that, 
He said also it will become green again, means in the future. Now we used to look at NASA government, not the NASA, the yeah. gov, the UK, look, this is for everybody. 1987, 1981, 2000, 2012. Do you see well, the greenery? There's more agriculture. You see, yeah. yeah. Why? We can access the water deep within. We have the technology. Yeah. How would Prophet Muhammad possibly know this? Indeed. This is, this is just few predictions of him. Prophet Muhammad said, he named the countries where Islam would spread in the future. Yeah. He said Islam would spread to, to Egypt, yeah. Yemen. Uh, Islam is spread to Syria, Islam is spread to, uh, to uh, India, Islam is spread to Pakistan, Islam is spread to Constantinople. If you don't get a revelation from God, right? Imagine you're saying this to just a few hundred Bedouin Arabs in, in yeah. deserts, yeah? And he's saying the Roman and Persian Empire, Muslim Islam will go there, right? Well, at the time of the Roman Empire, yes. It was the biggest empires of the time. Yeah. And Arabs had no, 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 no uh, military tactics, nothing. They didn't have knowledge, right? They were barely even literate. Prophet Muhammad was not uh, was illiterate. Majority of the people in Mecca were illiterate, right? But they had good memory. They used to rely on memory, not writing. Now, the question would be this, right? If these evidences are there, me, me personally, as a sincere person, if I am sincere, open-minded, I would say I have no option except to know this is actually from the Creator. Because I know humans cannot know these things. And based on that, I do follow what the Creator said. And Islam, we don't rely on people's interpretation. We don't say he can interpret, he can interpret. No, we rely on the Prophet and his companions' interpretation. How did he, how did they, because they lived there when the revelation was coming, they saw what was going on. So they explained to us what did Allah intend with this verse. Prophet explains to us what did Allah, not just people's interpretation, I think the verse says that, I think the verse says this. We say no, <laughs> Prophet explains the verses. Yeah. Right. So, I, I, I will be doing some more reading. Right, yeah, I'll give you. I'll give yeah. you a gift. I'll, I'll give you a gift. Oh, thank you. Yeah, to read I, it. Yeah. I, I, I've got to ship off that way. Yeah, yeah of course, hundred percent, hundred percent. I need to sit down. Yeah, yeah, of I course. I, to, I, I, I'm sorry to take too much of your time. You know, yeah, I, you it's always been interesting. Yeah. So here you will find the uh, accurate predictions about the future. It will explain the past of the Quran. What no, is the Quran? I'll, what does I'll it teach? That. Yeah, yeah, of course. My pleasure. And if you have, do you have any questions? You have, if you have any questions, we're here. You can come back, you can ask questions. Yeah, you'll see me around, yeah? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you.